Hello, we're going to use the TIGWELD 200SX and we're going to convert it over to a CK Worldwide Gas Saver Assembly. It comes in a 1 16th size and also comes in a 1 8th size. But today we're setting up the 3 32nd size. It comes with a special collet body and a screen gas diffuser that screws into the end of the assembly. It also comes with a special collet and a special Teflon adapter to connect to your torch. And last but not least, it also comes with a special Pyrex see-through gas cup. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to convert our torch over to using the CK Worldwide Gas Saver kit. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and remove that existing Teflon insulator and take that off. We're going to go ahead and use the one that they supplied and we're going to stick that on the torch right there. The next piece we're going to use is the collet body. We're going to go ahead and stick the collet body through that Teflon insulator. Go ahead and thread that down finger tight. Okay. The next piece we're going to install is the piece that looks like the gas diffuser here with the small screen on the end of it. We're going to thread that down in place. It's got some little flats on there that you could put a wrench on it if you'd like. Then we're going to take the Pyrex cup and we're going to carefully insert that over the screen there. With a slight push goes down over the metal o-ring or compression ring there and then slowly and carefully down over the rubber o-ring down in there further. So that's looking pretty good on that side. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the cup around or turn the torch around and I'm going to go ahead and install the collet that came with it. So we can't use a standard collet, we need to use the one that comes with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and install my rear torch button cap that I've got here onto it. Turning it in there a couple of turns. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert the tungsten in here. All the way up and inside there. And get it right to where I want it. that back in there a little bit more and tighten down that button cap and it should be ready to roll. So there it is, the gas saver setup hooked up and ready to go.